it's actually bright enough for me to film just using natural light and that could be a June favourite if the good weather continues but this is actually a video about my May favourites. What an amazing segue. I've got four different categories and the first one I'm going to start with is YouTubers and I'll be mentioning three YouTubers and I wouldn't be surprised if most of you have heard of these YouTubers before but these are ones that I've known for quite a while actually but I've just been enjoying them even more recently and marathoning some of the old videos and the first one I'd like to mention is Rowan Ellis who makes videos on feminism and social justice and queerness and they're just really great often her videos will be eight minutes long and it's like a nice introduction to a topic and she critiques pop culture and it's just really interesting and she seems like a very cool person as well the second youtuber i've been watching a lot lately is it's radish time and she vlogs and what i really like about her videos is that they often feel like they're almost poetry she has like a very distinctive style and it feels like a set room to them and she just makes things on a variety of topics like I really liked her video that she did on Lemonade, the latest Beyonce album. The third YouTuber is another vlogger, Evan from the internet and even if you haven't heard of her through YouTube you might have seen her around on the internet because she also did a video about Lemonade which Beyonce then actually played on her Formation World Tour so she is kind of, I don't know, maybe she's one of Beyonce's best friends now, not really. Now on to music. Fifth Harmony's new album came out on the 27th and it took a while for it to grow on me but now I do really like it and I actually do think it's better than their first album Reflection. You've probably heard the first single from Work From Home and I would say I really like the first song That's My Girl and also All In My Head and Dope and actually I basically like all of the songs on the album. <laughs> Other new music I've been listening to a lot lately is Colouring Book, the new mixtape from Chance the Rapper and I haven't actually properly listened to all of it completely because normally when I start listening to an album I'll, I tend to just dip in and out and repeat a few songs at the same time. It takes me a while to actually properly sit down and listen to all of the album but so far I've just been listening to the first two songs from the mixtape on repeat which are All We Got and No Problem and I just really like how they just sound so joyful and full of life and you should definitely listen to it. The next category is television, which is what I've been spending a lot of my time doing ever since I finished uni, just vegging out with my laptop and watching TV. And I've got two shows that I particularly enjoyed last month. The first one, I'm extremely, extremely late to the party on, and that's Sense8. I actually watch the first five episodes when they came out a while ago and I just didn't really get into it but then I kept seeing photos of the cast filming at Pride recently and I thought mm, I'm gonna give this show another shot and I've watched the remaining seven episodes and now I really like it and I look at the characters and do the classic thing of my babies my babies working in a team protect my babies uh, yeah I've given birth to eight people who are older than me apparently if you don't know what Sense8 is, it's by the Wazowski siblings, it's on Netflix and it's about a group of eight people all around the world in different lives who didn't know each other until they just suddenly have this connection to each other where they can kind of communicate with each other and stand in. I'm not sure if I'm explaining it that well but I would say if you like me watched the first few of the episodes and didn't get into it you should give it another shot again. And the other show that I'm enjoying a lot lately is Fresh Off The Boat, which is a half hour comedy and the main series, the first series focused mainly on this 12 year old, 11 year old actually, Eddie Hung, I might be pronouncing his surname incorrectly, sorry about that, and he, um, he is Chinese and he and his family move from Washington to Florida for his dad to set up a restaurant, it's set in the mid 90s and it's just absolutely hilarious, I think it might be the show that I've laughed the most that I've literally had so many episodes where I've had to like stop it and rewind and listen again because I missed a line because I was laughing and they're just lines I have in my head that I, that I want to talk to people about but I don't actually know anyone who watches it but Fresh Off The Boat is a great show that's just so hilarious. And the last category is podcasts and I actually only have one main podcast that I want to mention and that's Control Out Delete 
by blogger Emma Gannon and the whole premise of the podcast is that she'll interview a woman who has about how social media has affected their lives and I would essentially say it's really about finding creative women like whether they're actresses or comedians or writers and interviewing them about their creativity and their process and also how the internet plays into that and it's just really good Emma Gannon has this sense when she's having an interview it feels more like a conversation and I really enjoyed listening to it she's had Rowan Blanchard on there she's had Ashley C Ford who's a writer I really like um you should definitely give it a listen and to finish off I want to give an honorable mention to two podcasts one is Gilmore Guys which I've already mentioned I'm just still really enjoying listening to it mainly because of the hosts Kevin and Demi like Gilmore Girls is a show that I did use to watch with Cecily but it's the hosts that make the podcast so great and also the Mental Illness Happy Hour by Paul Gilmartin which is a podcast where every week or so he interviews someone about their mental health and experience with mental illnesses or past trauma and it's a podcast that I always come back to when I feel like I'm in a rough spot with my mental health. So those are my favourites for May, let me know down below in the comments what you've been enjoying lately and I hope you have a lovely June and I'll see you soon, bye!